Yo, 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 this your boy Chief Fila, and now you tuned in to another episode of Talk to Your Boy Podcast Show, but this is the Happy New Year special. Happy New Year, everybody! <laughs> 2021 is here now. We officially made it. Thank God we made it through a rough year with the coronavirus. We made it, motherfuckers. I said we drink to that. You know, first, before we start the show, you know we got to open up, but... It's a special, remember, it's New Year's, so I got tequila, white tequila, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is one of my favorites, <laughs> Espelon, or uh, fire water, which is in Spanish, it's called Agua Diente. This drink hits from Colombia, Medellin specifically. And this shit tastes like a black jelly bean, licorice as fuck, you know what I'm saying? But it's what I like to drink. But you know, I also got a, a little Modelo to, you know, open up, get the gases out the way, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yep. Mm. All right, let's start the show like that. How's everybody doing? How do it feel to be 2021 after we went through a crazy pandemic last year? We were just about to get 2,000 motherfucking dollars and that puss ass cracker don't put a interference. He calls it interference during the motherfucking play when we was going to get the $2,000. And by 7 o'clock that night, we ended up with 600 motherfucking dollars. How the fuck did that happen? It don't matter to me. You know why? Because I don't get that shit anyway. It goes straight to child support. Yeah, it paid my child support debt. Yeah, fuck y'all. I don't want to talk about that right now. It's a new year, and I want to start off the new year with a positive energy. By the way, I do got an album called Positive Energy. It's called Chief Fila, Positive Energy, and all social platforms. Make sure y'all tune into that shit, too. Let's pop this shit open. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all like my little chain cup? Yeah. We're going to do it like that today. Oh shit, it smells like black jelly bean licorice as fuck. Come on, come on, come on. What's up? What's up? Oh, yeah, sorry. All right. All right, here we go. Mm. Salud, motherfucker. Happy New Year. Ah. Yeah, man, you see how that motherfucker costs it. But, you know, I hear people talking about, oh, we only get it 600. But I heard people say that shit about the the, 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 the first stimulus check. Oh, we only getting 1200 Motherfucker. I've been alive in this country for 42 years, and I ain't never seen the government give motherfuckers not one dime unless it's your income tax, but that's your money. This motherfucker here, stimulus check, I don't know who money that is. They say you're going to get charged in the future. Hey, fuck it. I owe a credit card bill. I have a lot of bills. I don't give a fuck. Just staple that shit to the other bills that I got. But you know what I'm saying? And when the fuck do you know that the government giving people money? Just be appreciated, motherfucker. That's a problem. Y'all motherfucker appreciate. When somebody give you something, y'all want a motherfucker put a price on what they should give you. I don't want $1,200. I want $2,000. What the fuck? Motherfucker giving you shit. You don't just decide how much you want. Motherfucker, when a motherfucker give you shit, appreciate it. This motherfucking country don't give nobody a goddamn thing, and they give y'all money twice, and y'all motherfucker only $600? Only $1,200? Bitch, they ain't never gave y'all shit. Everything you got, you have to work for it. God damn, this country's a motherfucker. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. That's why this country, regardless of what, we always gonna be under, we always gonna be divided because nobody's never seen each other on the same page. Nobody's never on the same page. In this country especially, we're too free. We're freedom. Communism country, I'm not saying that we should be communism, but that's why communism exists. It's too many motherfucking opinions. Opinions like an asshole. Everybody got one. Everybody should no, but we should do this. No, but we should do this. That's why Fidel said, no, fuck that. We're doing it like this and that's it. That's the communist way. So nobody be uh, uh, thinking of any ideas and all that bullshit. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but I see why it exists. Certain people need to be living under communism so they can appreciate what they got here. 
You know what I'm saying? A lot of Americans don't appreciate what we have here. Have you been to Mexico? Have you been to Dominican Republic? Have you been to Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua? All those places where people really fucking chop their heads off for a piece of bread because niggas really starve? No. We got welfare out here. Motherfuckers out here born with a silver spoon in their mouth out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? We have hard times out too, but we don't have harder times with those third world countries. So we need to appreciate what we got here in front of our front yard and our backyard, motherfuckers. Be American, man. Appreciate. Unappreciate is un-American. But I said, but like I said, I don't want to start the new year uh, on some negative vibe, but you know, I just want to end it right here. I don't want to talk about no more negative vibe to somewhere in March when shit starts happening. I mean, shit might start happening next week, but it's still early in the month. You know what I'm saying? It's January, nigga. Nigga, 2021. Nigga, I was born in 1978, nigga. There was no Instagram. Atari just came out. There was not even no video game, nigga. Uh, I was born in 1978, nigga. We just got VCR, nigga. But I ain't had one until like way later in life. Then what we got one. I remember my VCR stayed in the house. It stayed in the house for like a year before anybody used it. Why? Because me, my mom, and my three sisters, we didn't even know how to use the bitch. And then one day, here I go. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just seen that it say play. I put the tape in, right? Now, there's some VCR when you put the tape in, it automatically plays. A lot of VCRs, when you put the first VCRs, when you put the tape in, it just, you just put the tape in. And from that point, you got to figure out what you got to do. Man, I don't figure out what channel I had to put it. Channel 3, I remember it was channel 3. Press a button there, beam, and it changed to VCR, and press play. And that's all I did. And then I was putting the VCR cassette tapes for my parents and shit, because they didn't know how to work it. Nigga, we had an 8-track, nigga. We had Michael Jackson on the 8-track. We had vinyls, nigga, cassette tapes. We had, I miss those days, man. But why the fuck we talking about? It's 2021. I just want to expect... Look, my peoples. To those of you that, wants, that chooses to take the vaccine, hey, my nigga, good luck. When your ass starts walking all fucked up and crippled and all lopsided and shit, or you just can't walk forward, you can only walk backwards, that's your stupid ass. You know what I'm saying? People ask me, hey, yo, chief, you taking the vaccine? Why the fuck should I? Half of the country's taking it, and the other half don't need it. If half of the country takes it, then why the other half should take it too? We don't need it. You know what I'm saying? You already killed half of the fucking country that had the shit. The other country, that, the other half that ain't got, got nothing, why the fuck should we take it? So I want to be the other half. I want to take shit. I want to see y'all motherfucker be the lab rats when niggas, you know, inject that vaccine in your ass and you start breakdancing on one side of your body and shit, looking like you're catching a stroke and shit. Yeah, I'll be waiting for that part. Matter of fact, it's time for another shot. Because people just want to, oh, I want to make sure I stay safe. Uh-oh, oh, take the vaccine, motherfucker. Have you known? Put it this way. They've been doing researches on weed for years. How the fuck do they come up with the coronavirus in, 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 in a matter of eight to nine months? You know what I'm saying? Oh, let's just say 10 months. How the fuck do they come up with the vaccine and no research, nothing? They just come up with shit and hope it works. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. I'm not going to be your lab rat. I'm sure they tried in a couple of lab rats, you know, a couple of dogs maybe, monkeys and shit. And they say, all right, it works for these motherfuckers. Let's go ahead and try it on a human being. And let's go see. They just, you know, we can't get nobody to volunteer because everybody, you know, for you to volunteer, for you to be a lab rat, they have to inject the motherfucking coronavirus in you. And when they can inject the coronavirus in you, that's when they're going to see if they can cure it. What if they can't cure it, nigga, and you fuck around and die, get water in your lungs, or your dick can't get on hard, you can't smell, taste shit, you know, that kind of shit. What if that happen? Huh? For a few, and then you they were paying people what, like two, three racks for that shit? How the fuck you got the nerve to tell me I'll pay you three racks if you let me take a risk with your life? You got, I got a drink. People just stupid. 
That's some dumbass motherfuckers. And then you got the dumbass America, bro. I think we all should take the vaccine. We need to go ahead and cure it in. Well, motherfucker, take it first. Let me see how your ass at. If you don't start walking backwards and, and looking like you catching epilepsy or, you know, seizures and all the way, you know, all kinds of shit, then I fuck around maybe consider maybe consider taking this shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to be their first lab rat. You got me fucked up. What the fuck? I look like being a motherfucking lab rat. You know, you, you, you try some shit on me. What if my dick don't work, nigga? What does a man want to be alive if your dick don't work? Your dick don't work. Would, would, would you want to be alive? You be thinking about suicide every night. What the fuck is the live for? Money don't mean shit no more. You can't fuck. Think about it. Think about why you want money. So you can buy brand new clothes, cars. Bitches can sweat you. You can smash all the bitches in the world, right? You know, that's why niggas do that shit. They get money for that reason, for that pussy fame. You know what I'm saying? What if your fucking dick don't work, nigga? Would you want to be alive, bro? Tell me, be honest. Would you want to be alive? You would probably think about every day killing, your, killing yourself. You might not do it like me. I might not do it, but I guarantee you'll run through my head like 50 times. God damn, I should blow my head. I can't jerk off. There's no sense of getting high. Ain't no reason to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing will make you feel good. Nigga, your dick don't work, nigga. You can't get no blowjobs. You, you can't even jerk yourself off, nigga. On a bad day. This, listen here. I would rather commit suicide. I would rather somebody kill me than my dick stop working. And if that fucking Corona COVID vaccine bullshit fuck around and give me that side effect, government, somebody gonna pay for some dick action going on right here. I need a new dick or y'all niggas better replace a nerve or something. Y'all better figure out how I gonna make my shit work, nigga. I swear to God. Oh, every politician that was behind this vaccine, I swear to God, I'm taking y'all dicks. I'm cutting them off. I'm cutting them off one by one. Chase you to your crib. Every politician, I chase y'all motherfuckers to y'all crib and tie your ass up and let your wife and kids see. And I'll chop your fucking dick all right in front of them. And if any one of y'all kids become one of those politicians, I'll make sure I do it to you. You see what, the, you see what daddy going through? I'll make sure y'all motherfuckers do it too. And bitch, if you decide to run for this motherfucker while his dick don't work, I'll fuck around and cut your titties off and make sure I cut all your uterus and clitoris and all that shit out of the, that part. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's ridiculous, though. It's ridiculous. But anyway, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. A lot of feedback, a lot of feedback, you know what I'm saying? A lot of feedback. How y'all like my little hat, man? It's New Year's, man. It's 2021. <laughs> 2021, motherfucker, we made it, my nigga. I made it Corona free, nigga. Sucker free. Buster free. Nigga, I'm just G, nigga. Chief Eli, nigga. Podcast is doing great. Hey, by the way, after this episode, I got two more episodes and we're going to end the season. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to jump into season two. But that season two is going to start probably in February. I don't want to go probably, you know, 30 days to refigure everything and, you know, come up with more better content and, you know, change the show up a little bit because I ain't going to be number one. Why? Because I'm going to do certain things that you ain't never seen before. I'm not talking about that you ain't never seen before, but something you ain't never seen podcasters do. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe that's one of them. The thing about my show, my show is very, very, very organic. I don't... I don't try to do something that, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts and people just boring, bro. People just say dumb shit, talk about shit that's in the news, and they just say dumb ass shit. They don't know how to keep it real in touch with themselves and just keep it 100. Like, right now, it's New Year's. I should be out there partying and shit and hanging out with people and shit, but I'm here talking to y'all. Why? Because I'm 100. And I love my people and I love my fans. Y'all want honey with me. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, because right now the places that I go to, it's going to be major people there. And they're probably saying, yo, Chief, you missing out the big party. I'm like, yo, my nigga, I don't want to go into 2021 with a coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? I passed. Yeah, I passed. 
What the fuck I look like? Nigga, I just went through a whole year battling, avoiding coronavirus. Not battling, but dodging and avoiding. You know what I'm saying? Ah, ah, nigga, what? Jiggy. Uh uh. You know what I'm saying? And what I look like at the end of the year, at the last day of the year, to go in the fucking New Year's party and fuck around and catch this shit. And then I end up in 2021 starting off fucked up. Coronavirus. That's my luck of the year. You got me fucked up, nigga. I don't start my year like that, nigga. I want to start my year with my lady, you know, slapping me some neck while I'm smoking a joint, drinking some agua diente, watching a Netflix movie. You know what I'm saying? At the crib, nigga, 2001. I want to champagne, hug the glass with her, drink, and you know what I'm saying? Make out with her, uh uh, smack that booty, you know, hit her eye, you know, put her to sleep, and go out there and roll a joint, smoke one. And I don't know, maybe I'll come back on here and talk to y'all. I'll probably give y'all another special out this bitch, nigga, that part. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be out there with strangers and you know, sick ass motherfuckers that be touching their ass and smelling it and don't wash their hands and shit. I don't want to be around these kind of motherfuckers, man. Let me just. I ain't got a paper bag. I've been in it. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking for a cup and I forgot. <laughs> I'm wearing it around my neck today. <laughs> man. Whoa. I like the way that sounds. Sounds like I got to go take a beat too, though. Salute, motherfuckers. I love y'all. Yeah, so you already know, man. This is your boy. Talk to your boy podcast, man. I plan this shit to be number one this year. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, 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 I, I, it's going to be hard for me to do it by this year. I got to be more accurate. I got to be more realistic. But I gave myself a three-year goal that in three years, I should be number one. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot of good plans, a lot of good content coming your way. And I'm going to be, yo, I'm going to take this shit to the next level. It's time to move it up a notch, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'm ready. It's going to all be on and popping. I want to say thank y'all, man. All that be showing me support on the fucking Spotify. I don't know who the fuck I got. And I ain't saying that's a lot, but for a nigga that just started this new podcast, for a nigga that just started a new podcast, you know, like 67 streams is a lot of streams. And I got that shit in like a four or five uh, 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 audio sound. So that's pretty good. I thank y'all, whoever's, you know, and I don't know if y'all sharing it or who y'all telling your friend, like, yo, this nigga's a loop. But, you know, I don't understand. I, for the listeners, on my Spotify listen, this is for, this message right here that I'm about to say is for my Spotify listeners. Uh, if you really want to see, because I know you're listening to the audio, but I have the show on YouTube as well. Like, I upload it on YouTube, and then I upload it on all these uh, uh, audio platforms. But if you want to see the show, it's on YouTube. All you got to do is type in either Chief Eli, Eli, you spell it E-L-I, and then, or you could just type in the name of the show. Talk to your boy, two with the number two. Talk to, number two. Talk to your boy, yo, is Y-O, podcast show. That's the name of the show. Talk to your boy, Podcast Show. And you can easily type that in on YouTube, and you'll find every episode with the fucking art visual. You don't have to listen to the audio. You can actually look at me say these kind of, you know, say what I got to say. You know what I'm saying? People say I look funny when I say certain shit. And I don't like when people tell me, hey, bro, you be looking funny. Nigga, looking funny how? What the fuck you mean looking funny, nigga? Cause looking funny can mean gay, nigga. Like, no, 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 bro. When you took the stage, you, you say your comedy podcast, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. You know, because people got to watch what they say, man. And when you say it, just, you know, say it slowly or some shit. Maybe I will understand better. I love y'all. Hold on, man. You know my shit be acting up. Sometimes I got to slap this hole. But yeah, man, I want to, I want to, before I leave out of here, I want to say a positive message. You know, I always say a positive message, but let me think of a good one. Now, I'll just play it. My positive message is, man, listen, for all y'all motherfuckers that really, 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 I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm just fucking around. Like, I don't have no positive message. Now, I'll just play it. I'll just play it. For all y'all motherfuckers that really, really trying to make it in life and trying to make it in music or trying to do this podcast, my nigga. It ain't hard. I have people in my, in my, on my side that's telling me, oh, man, it costs too much money. Look, bro, this shit right here, this shit, if you buy the store, it costs like probably like two to three hundred bucks, right? You want to know how much I got that for? Sixty fucking dollars. Let me tell you where. 
thrift shop, nigga. Hit the thrift shop. Hit the pawn shops. Go on fucking Wish. You can find a lot of these equipment for the low. All these lights that I bought. My nigga, I got to end up with like nine lights. Green screen, white screen, black screens. I got a bunch of lights, a bunch of like, you know, a bunch of other shit. Umbrella lights and all these kind of lights and, and stage setups and shit like that. I got that for 60 fucking dollars. Right? Bum. That's 120 the tripods, you go to the thrift shop, you find all different sizes, man. The tripods, I got them for $3 a piece. The cameras, I'm using my phone. The laptop, everybody has a laptop. All you got to do is download edit programs. Some of them be 5 bucks, some of them be 10 depending which one you want. And, you know, mic, this mic, you can get that with a whole set and everything, with the stand and everything. You can get three mics. With these stands right here, and and two and three headphones, probably for like fifty fucking bucks, bro. I seriously, I seriously, these mics ain't the best mics in the world. But as long as you understand me and you hear me clear, we shouldn't have a problem. I don't want that. Oh, bro, I want the professional mic. Why? Why? All you gotta do is hear you and understand you. I mean, it's not like you're gonna be muffled. It's not like you're gonna talk like that if you get the cheap mic. It just one sounds real, real, real fucking clear, clear, clear. But that shit costs 450 bucks. And I think I sound clear enough for you to understand me, motherfucker. So I'm good with this. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So happy New Year's, motherfucker. I want to hold y'all much too much because I know y'all right now partying with y'all friends and family and y'all having a great time and y'all getting y'all swerve on and everything. And I'm about to as well. My lady's waiting for me. So... I'm going to let y'all go ahead and enjoy the party, but I just want to try to remember what I said. This year, 2021, we got to glow. We got to level up. We got to get this money. Don't let nobody stop y'all. It's a lot of fucking haters. Let them watch it. If you out there just watching, you, or, you know, either in the game or you watching. You know what I'm saying? But y'all need to, the ones that's watching needs to get in the game. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's time. It's time. Everybody got to level up. Stop watching niggas. Get your own shit so everybody can stop the hating. If you just get stop being lazy, nigga. Figure this shit out. You know how to use your brain. You know how to use your muscle. Think of something that you want to do. Think of what you like and just get to work. Make it happen. You know, I, I, I hung around with a lot of people that went that you know all these years that that they had that they didn't have that kind of you know that kind of what I, what I want to say they didn't have that kind of energy they didn't have that kind of um motivation. To do shit because they thought it was impossible to do it, but it's really not. It's not really possible. Save a couple few dollars for your shit. Well, if you really want to do it, save your dollars for it and get it done, nigga. Stop playing. You know, if you got a drug addiction, then you never gonna be shit. You know, if you think about your drugs before you what you your dreams, then you never gonna be shit. Ain't nobody gonna give you shit. I'm letting you know right now. If you ain't spend your hand out, you're fucked. So for that, I'm going to leave you just like that. I want to thank y'all for tuning in for watching the show. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I got an episode for y'all tomorrow, which is episode 29. And you know what I'm saying? So thank y'all, man. Y'all have a great night, man. Happy New Year, motherfuckers. I love y'all. Let's stay, let's stay positive. Remember, goodbye. to ch ch you, bitch.